this is question number two of term worksheet now uh, this question here you can see front view left hand side view right hand side view nothing is given uh, here you can observe some data has been given related to point o if point o is on left side where will be this view drawn on right plane or left plane see first of all we don't have any top view i i have two views side by side means one is front view I, if this is front view then this will be which view it is drawn on right hand side to the front view and we are following first angle projection method which is first quadrant so right hand side it will be left hand side view so front view where it will be drawn it will be drawn on right plane left hand side view will be drawn on left plane the other way around also you can think of suppose you are considering this as front view this is drawn on left hand side so this will be right hand side view now in this case right hand side view will be drawn on right plane so front view will be on, drawn on left plane so here basically what I am going to assume here you can see the solution I have assumed that this is this view I mean obviously this side will be this one but I will consider this as front view it doesn't matter which is front view which is side view if this is front view then this will be side view if this is front view then this will be side view okay so we'll understand the problem now see uh, actually if you see the suppose if I consider this is front view so if you see the front view here you can see the shape this is the outermost shape so for now I will write over here this is front view and this it is drawn second view is drawn on right hand side so this will be left hand side view for example now what is the total length width and height of this problem first calculate that what we what is the length length is 80 then in the side view I can see the width width is how much length into width width is 54 and then what is the height height also you can see the in the see in the front view 90 so length into width into height height is 90 now the front view we are going to draw in which plane here you can observe O is on left side so this is O and the dimension is towards right so dimension this is O dimension is towards right so basically this front view if I assume this is front view this will be drawn in the right plane now we will go and uh, uh, we will understand this problem feature by feature so if you see this you can observe this bottom this shape and if I take the projection it matches with this line over here so basically this line is indicating this shape then second thing this is the height of this shape it is gone on back side by some distance what is this distance so we'll calculate all the distances over here in the side view this total distance is 54 this distance is 18 and this length has been given as 36 so basically total is 54 minus 36 you will find that this distance is 18 as well as this distance is 18 so basically total is 54 this length is 18 this length is 18 and this length is also 18 okay so basically this shape is actually this line if you take the projections and match and it has gone on back side okay means on this side see right plane I am going to draw which view front view so basically you will be able to see this type of shape in the front view like this but then this width is there on back side so on back side it will move by a distance of 18 millimeter now next again you take the projection if you take projection of this point it will match over here if you take projection of topmost point it will match over here meaning this shape this shape is 18 millimeter back side in the left hand side view and this is vertical so basically this shape will be vertical over here in the side view. in the side view you will see this line but in the front view you will see this shape okay next part 
here you can see a hole is there and if you take the projection of this hole here you can see in the side view it is throughout so basically this type of hole you will be able to see in the front view but it is throughout next projections we will see here you can see this hidden line this hidden line is matching over here basically this is that point see here i have a horizontal plane and here i have a vertical plane both the planes are meeting at this point so at this point you will find a edge this is that hidden edge so in the side view i will find uh, see there is a dot but in the front view i will see a edge but this is hidden why it is hidden because when observer is looking at this from here this edge is not visible because this edge is in front so this point is on back side that is why this edge is hidden now we'll see the drawing part of this see first what we will do first uh, we will draw this outer box here you can see this box is there this box will be drawn first this box will be drawn first so what is the length of this box we have written length is 80 so don't show the dimensions huh? in isometric only thing you, which you are going to show is you will draw this horizontal line over here which will be light you will write here point o and you will sh show this angle 30 degree 30 degree for all the problems okay this much you will show don't erase this box when you draw it manually okay and uh, when you submit this sheet in autocad you will not show this point o you will not show this 30 degree and you will hide this magenta color box also so in autocad only this main drawing will be visible but when you draw it on sheet whatever you can see over here everything will be visible as it is okay now how you are going to draw this see this is slightly tricky huh? so basically uh, what is the length length is 80 so this is 80 then what is the height height is 90 so this vertical will be 90 this vertical height will be 90 next this is the width what is the total width 54 so width is 54 now suppose this is front view for example so front view you are looking at this shape so this will be the direction of front view or you can say observer this will be the direction of front view or observer and this is front uh, this uh, the second view this view is drawn towards right so it will be which view left hand side views for example left hand side view so left hand side view will be visible from left side this is the left side so if you see the front view just observe this is the shape this is one line and this is a hole here you observe this is the this line see this line is indicated by this line then this line is indicated by this line here in the front view in 2d you can see this as single line but actually in 3d this much portion is over here okay which is this part corresponding to this whereas this portion is this line which is this part this portion you can see and this portion you can see these are the two inclined lines then top line this horizontal line is over here then here you can see this edge this edge is over here in the front view and then you can see a hole this is that hole same way in the side view left hand side view here you can see a z shape this is the z shape here also in left hand side view here you can see a z shape is it clear how to draw this see uh, in the left hand side view what is the height 20 so from this to this point you will mark 20 okay but it should be light then once you have reached this height you will draw a light line over here like this here you can see some line is coming out this line is that light line which is drawn at a height of 20 millimeter like this once this is drawn next what you are going to do next part will be uh, you will see this top plane distance what is this distance 40 so 
this is the total length of the box okay means 80 so you will find the center of that which will be this one this center and from here you will mark this much length means 20 and 20 so from here you will mark 20 from here you will mark 20 and you will draw light lines in the top plane like this here you can see this much portion this is light so you will draw a light line like this this 40 will be this 40 this 40 and this 40 is matching same way this 80 on bottom side it is matching with this 80 now simply you will join like this so i will join over here like this so wherever this inclined line intersects with this horizontal line there you will get the point same way here also you will get the point and this in this way you are going to draw this part this part i'll repeat again what you will do from basically this 80 is over here this 80 then top side this 40 matches over here then simply you will draw join this like this which is given in the question then next what you are going to do you will move from this point vertically 20 in the left hand side view this is left hand side view so you will move up by a distance of 20 then you will draw a light line over here like this which is parallel to this and wherever this line intersects with this line you will get a point here also you will get a point so that you can get this shape finally then we have to move inside by a depth of 18 Ye 18 and this is 18 this is 18 this is also 18 so from here i will draw a line parallel to this one this is 18 this is 18 and then i will join this next what i am going to do i already ha have this light line i will draw a line this line parallel to this line from this point then i will re reach the top then from top i will draw this I will complete this part then next I will join this point and this point as I have joined over here this point and this point same way I will join this point with this point I will draw a light line then what is the height over here vertical height in left hand side view this is left hand side view what is this vertical 20 so from this point I will move down vertically by 20 and then to this line i will draw a parallel over here wherever it intersects this line i will get this point then i will draw this dark then i will draw this dark and originally i had this line so i will draw this line which is parallel to this one so ye abhi z ban gaya yahan pe ye z ban gaya ye upar ka bhi ban gaya everything we have drawn only thing what is remaining is this circle now how to find the center of this circle that is again an important task so understand how to do that now what is the height at which this circle is located it is 45 in the front view so this is the front view okay now the second criteria is it is 18 millimeter inside so what i am going to do this is inside so from here i will move first 18 millimeter this is that 18 millimeter and then i will move in upward direction by 45 millimeter and then i will draw a horizontal line next what i will do i have this 40 which is there on the top so i will mark the midpoint of that and i have this 80 i will mark midpoint of that and draw a center line over here wherever this center line intersects with this horizontal line there i will get the center point now what is the radius of this circle diameter is 30 radius will be 15 so what i will do from this point i have got this point i will move vertically up by radius 15 then i will draw this line which will be parallel to this edge this will be how much 30 i have to draw the iso circle so basically i will construct a rhombus over here of 30 millimeter length and then i will join the like uh, longest diagonal and follow the procedure how to draw that uh, iso circle that i have already taught you before then here you can see 
this internal edge why is this visible because this width is small so what you will do this part of the iso circle you will have somewhere over your center so basically this will be the center this will be the radius and you will draw this uh, part of the iso circle so you will move this part this point or this center back by a distance of 18 millimeter and from here you will keep the same radius and you will draw this curve and that will be the end of the problem hey, you understood na ye thoda ye bhi dekho ye thoda tricky problem hai because here we don't have straight huh? like this straight nahi hai ye aise hai to aapko ye distance this distance is not given in the question so how you are going to find this this is 40 this is 80 you will join this ye 40 hai this is 80 you will join this then you will move in upward direction by a distance of 20 in left plane so here i have moved up then here i have drawn this line wherever th this line intersect i will get this point and this point and then i will be able to draw this shape same way i'll repeat the procedure to locate the center of this circle how we have located it see this circle is basically if you take the projection it is on this plane and this plane from this point it is 18 backside so from here i will move backside by 18 then vertically this center is 45 so i will move up by a distance of 45 then i will draw a horizontal line over here which will be on this plane then i will find the center of this vertical 40 this will be the center then bottom 80 i will find the center and then i will draw the center line wherever the center line intersects with this line i will get a point and through this point you will move in upward direction by a distance of 15 and then you will draw this rhombus of 30 by 30 is it clear